Hello. Welcome to another video. I look nice today. I know you look nice today. So, I'm going to make a quick video about my idea about what self-love is. Maybe I can do this way. Oh, yeah. My idea about self-love. I want to talk about self-love real quickly because it's something that is like a big topic in society today. Uh, as you guys know, I got it cross rubbing a cross so you know i want to talk about jesus caution warning i'm going to talk about jesus um i hope that's okay with you guys so basically self-love is something that we always talk about in this world especially as women um uh, i think men don't talk about it enough i think that's going to be a good topic for men to like go through you know like self-love with their between their moms their grandmas their wives their girlfriends and stuff like that but um, for women, it's easy for us to talk about because we got the makeup, we got the nice clothes, we got the nice hair and all that stuff. So I don't know. God loves both men and women, obviously. But basically, self-love is a big topic in today's society. And I just want to talk a little bit about what I think self-love is. Self-love, according to what Jesus says, is loving yourself in order so that you may love your neighbor. And when you love yourself, you're able to love your neighbor. Jesus says, love your neighbor as yourself. So for instance, let me give an example. My dad, when I talk to my dad, I get to know my dad and stuff like that. I get to love him and get to know him in the same way I would love and get to know myself. And there's a proverb, Proverbs 27, 19, as water reflects the face, so reflects one's life. So I don't know. I think self-love is important. I mean, think about it. No one looks at yourself as much as you do. Like, you are the only person in the world who looks at yourself this much, you know? And I say this to myself. Like, I look at myself all the time. But it can get annoying. <laughs> but it's not annoying. It's just like, whoa. Like, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe we look at ourselves too much because we're insecure when we don't know. Maybe we look at ourselves because we're... We like what we see. Maybe we look at ourselves because we want to have a friend. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I look at myself a lot because I think I'm a pretty cool person. And I think that there's a good friend inside of me. Like there's a really loyal, good friend living inside of me. Her name is Jocelyn. And Jocelyn is like my best friend. This, <laughs> like at the end of the day, when all my friends leave me behind, when people leave me and, and you know, abandon me. I got my I got my own back, you know, so that's why I like looking at myself. Um, but it's so crazy because the Bible talks a lot about the body. And Jesus says the glory of man is like a flower of the field. It's so beautiful. It, it dwindles up in the air and then it perishes once the sun hits it. That's kind of like how we are. Um, that's kind of like how human beings are. Like I'm all glorious in my nice outfit and my makeup. But at the end of the day what does it matter you know so god is good god wants us to love ourselves i think god wants us to love ourselves so that we can love other people um yeah so i'm gonna do this way so yeah god wants us to love ourselves um i think it's important that we don't push our self-love on other people i think we just should love ourselves accept ourselves for who we are and bringing jesus into the center makes everything better like for me when I bring Jesus, when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, like without a doubt, I trust that he will guide me to teach me how to love people, how to love myself, so I don't blame myself, so I don't fall into guilt. For instance, why do I look, God, why do I look at myself so much? Because it's Jesus guiding me. Jesus, Jesus has a great things to teach us. He is the mighty counselor. He's the everlasting father. He's there always. And the book of Isaiah says that he's always with us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. So Jesus is the one who I believe teaches me how to love people. It seems very challenging to think, but it's true. So yeah, I know this is not like a super important topic. It feels like it's getting boring. But this is something I know is important to y'all. You know, so let me go back to the brighter angle. Just kidding. So yeah, love yourself. <laughs> Love yourself. Don't scare yourself, but love yourself. My friends, I'm learning how to love myself. I'm learning how to fear the Lord God while I love myself. I love fearing God. If there's anything I love more than myself, it would be you, my friends. I love you guys a lot. But it would also be fearing the Lord. And um, there's a proverb that says, 
the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. That's Proverbs 9, 10. Memorize Bible verses. It will change your life. Trust me, it'll change your life. <laughs> but um, fearing the Lord is really important and men and women both should fear the Lord. Fearing the Lord is a beautiful thing. Fearing the Lord is what makes you, my friends, confident. It is what makes you beautiful and it's what makes you wise. Fearing the Lord is a very beautiful thing. And uh, when you fear the Lord, you be, you bow down to God with salvation, with fear, with trembling, trusting that this body of yours is not even your own. It belongs to Jesus. It belongs to God. So in my life as a Christian or as someone who represents Christ, who, who represents the cross, I want to fear the Lord. I want to fear this God who was so brave to hang on a cross and die for me. And I want to fear this God who made the heavens and the earth. If you read Isaiah chapter 40, verses 12 to 13. No, not 40. Is it 40? I think it's verses 12. Yeah, verses 12. It talks about God, how God is so big that he holds the waters of the earth in his palm and how he shaped the heavens and the mountains like tremble before his presence. So if mountains tremble before him, how about us human beings who know him? We should be trembling with no obligation. We should be trembling because we love him. So, yeah, fearing the Lord is what has been teaching me how to love myself. Fearing the Lord has been teaching me a lot how to love myself. My friends, I love learning about hell. I like learning about heaven. I like learning about God. I like learning about Jesus. And I like learning about his truth, you know. I don't know about you guys, and everyone has their opinions. I've been a part of like six religions, trust me. I've been there. I know a lot of things. I know a lot of things, trust me. But that's not what makes me a good person. Um, Jesus, I think, is like the true, the true, the true homie. He's the, he's the one who got my back. I got his back. And um, I'm going to live for Jesus. I'm going to find ways to live for Jesus especially when the world doesn't want me to. When the world says escape, you know, don't do that. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I got getting texts from my friend. But yeah, I noticed that it's really important to love yourself and to bring God in the center of that love. Loving yourself without God is kind of like, I don't know, idolatry a little bit. Idolatry. But I'm not judging you. You do, you love yourself the way you want to love yourself. Um... And yeah, I noticed that sometimes I can when I get easily annoyed with people, it's a reflection of my love for myself. And I don't want to get annoyed with people. I want to love people and meet them where they're at. Like Jesus meets people where they're at. Jesus was perfect and he's awesome. So yeah. Um yeah. So, you know, that's what I'm learning. And I know you guys didn't know that. But yeah, six religions I was a part of. I was a part of Christian, no, Catholicism, Christianity, in order right here. Catholicism, Christianity, Islam, which is pretty awesome, not going to lie. Islam, um, Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhism, which was also pretty awesome. Not going to lie, not going to lie, my friends. And back to Christianity, then back to Catholicism, back to Christianity now. So it's been a whirlwind of things and I'm just coming back to the cross. Like, I don't know. Jesus saved me from the confusion of religions, the confusions. He saved me, that's for sure. And he has shown me his salvation every day. The more I continue to learn how to love myself, God continues to show his salvation. If Jesus saved me from my sins and he did, he can save me from things I'm going through. He can save you from things you're going through. So as Billy Graham, one of my favorite preachers in the earth, has said, come to the cross. Come to the cross and you will learn the fear of the Lord. You will learn the reverence of God. Um, And yeah, so I know, man, I, I know I mentioned six religions. I know you're probably like, dang, like, who is this girl? What has she gone through? I know. Like, I think the same thing about myself. Like, who am I? What am I going through? But no, like, I really love Jesus. And I hope you do because he loves you. But yeah, in these strange and crazy times, loving yourself is important. We spend a lot of time in quarantine in our houses. 
love yourself. Love other people. As a church that I go to always says, we're all about loving God and loving people. Make it simple for you. Make it simple for me. No matter who we are, no matter where we're at in our minds, we can love God and love people and we can come to peace with that. So yeah, I don't know. I hope I shared something important with you guys. I'm going to art therapy today because I need therapy. I'm going through some things, but God is good. Um, excited. <laughs> That's why I put my favorite outfit on today. I sometimes dress up like I'm going to a party. You know, if it feels up to me. I dress up in dresses every single day, but there are people like that out there. So yeah, um, Jesus loves you so much. John 3.16, I'm going to end this, this video with. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And there's nothing greater than this Bible verse at this time in my life because all I have to do is believe and I'll be saved. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Oh, my dad's home. Okay. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you. I have to talk low now, but God bless you guys. Bye.